Welcome back to Riven. In the last episode, we figured out, well, I looked at a guide for a very important piece of information that was completely halting my progress. Turns out I had to close a door behind me in order to find a path that was behind each side of the door. I would never have figured that out on my own, but now that I've made a little bit of progress, I have broken into Gens. We've broken into... <clears throat> Sorry. We've broken into Gens' uh, laboratory here, and found all of his bookmaking stuff, as well as a journal full of useful information, including several codes and information on how to use quite a few of his uh, technological uh, uh, innovations that he has brought to this world from, from Dunny. So... This is a book that he was attempt that Gen was attempting to uh, make link somewhere, and it didn't work, so he was trying to burn it, or he was in the process of burning it and didn't finish. That's uh, got nothing to do with what we're doing here. Oh yeah, we also found one of these orbs that was allegedly out in the village, in the water. And he sent somebody to go bring it back, and by the time they did that, it was back the next day. So, I think that was the fish. So we have four numbers, four, uh, like, uh, numbers in the sequence for that animal tile puzzle. So we have fish, beetle, frog, and I believe it was the whale. There's like a whale shark kind of type creature that we will eventually learn the sound of, and I don't know what that button is there for, I just noticed it was there, but we have done all the exploring that we can do here, so I was going to go out this door and see where this goes. Ah, it's another tram stop. That appears to go to another island. Mm, yeah, let's go for it. Boop, and turn it around. And I'm going to let this one play out because I haven't been on this tram yet. So, flip the switch. Here we go. I don't think this one's as long a ride. Yeah, that was a shorter ride than the first one. And we have arrived at a new island. Also, in the, like... 10 seconds that ride was thinking. I was thinking how completely awesome it would be to play this game like remade in VR like full 3D like they did for Real Mist but in VR just like the, the tram ride and the minecart ride and all that stuff that would be I think that would be a hell of a thing to experience in VR so where have we oh this is Pretty. Pretty, pretty. And there's something down there. I don't know what island we're on. But there's... It's a new island, so that means there's lots to explore. Is there, like... This is clearly an elevator. Where's the switch? Ah. Is there? Oh, there it is. Tiny little button there. Uh huh. Okay. So, these are all the islands. And this is actually a very, 
very important piece of that puzzle that I mentioned is a significant pain in the ass to solve without a guide. And I'm trying to figure out how it how it relates. Because we saw before that uh, each of the islands uh, was represented by like a by those Tetris blocks that we saw earlier, and they're also again down here on this little console here. And there's kind of like a grid system going on here. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not. I was never clear on. I I know this. This is part of the solution to that puzzle, and if anyone's played played through this game before and knows what I'm talking about, it's the 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 marble puzzle, and it involves placing. There's an, another map like this, and you have five marbles. And you have to place place them in on each island where the dome on that island is, the spinning dome with the the numbers, and you have to figure out where that dome is on each of these islands on a map of the island. And I don't know how this factors into that, but uh, oh. Yeah, it's... Oh! Wait a minute. Maybe this is what... Maybe that's it, actually. So, hold on. Uh... Let's pull up... I don't know which of these is which island is also part of the problem. So if I pull up the square here... Oh my god, do we have to sit through this every time? No, I can skip it. Cool. So then I come back here and... I can pull up each segment of the island. So this is the one with the... Uh, with the boiler and the sh shredder on it. And it's the four pieces. And then there's the grid here. And I think that corresponds with where the... Where you have to, to put the marbles on the other map. Maybe that's how you figure it out. But I don't know where the... Maybe I do, actually. Yeah, because it was in... So this, I think, this upper right section, that's where Gen's lab is. And then we got there from the next section over, the next grid section over. So, like, from here, and that's where the dome was, because it was underground. So it's either this one or that one that I don't... But, ah, uh, I need, like, graph paper, because this is, this is too much to try and copy accurately down on a, on a notebook page, and this is just the, the two-by-two two island here. There's, like, this huge other one here, too, like this one. That's the, yeah. Don't need the whole animation play out. See, this one has so many... Oh my god, it's huge. I don't even know which one this is. Oh, maybe that's the big dome? Could that be it? I, ju I don't... I don't know, but... Uh, eventually I'll come back here and work that... Oh! Well, there's... There's the dome for this island. Uh, oh, but the viewer is misaligned. So I just kind of have to... mash it and... Did I get it? I got it. Yep. 
I'm like 80% sure that's the only way to actually do that. Like, you can try timing it, I guess, but just mashing it is the way to go. So there's another... Let me see if I can figure out Gen's code. It's 1, 5, I think 14. But I don't know what... Well, it has to be in ascending order because it's sliders here. So the first one's just going to stay on 1, and then the next one is going to be on 5. And then there's 10, so this will be 14. What is down arrow? I don't know what that could be. Maybe related to 3, but there's not there's not even one with with an with a with a line that goes upward into the right side of the box, so I don't know. Because that's what the last two of the numbers both have. I'm not quite sure how to figure that out. There's a list of them up to 25. I don't know where you figure out past 10. So that's 16? I was right, that one is 14. But where do you figure out what 15 is? It's not 10 and 5. Well, apparently this one is 16, and then that one's 18. I don't know. I don't understand how you're supposed to extrapolate from, from the 10 that it actively tells you to figure out the rest of them. So we have 1, 5, 14... 16. Oh, I actually had it right. Or not. So, 5, 10, 15. Oh, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I was, I was off. 16. So, 5, 10, 15. There's 14. And then 5 and 1. There we go. Got it. So once you do that, the dome just closes over you. So now I can go meet Gen, but I don't have the prison book. So I don't think I want to do that yet. Uh, that button down there will, uh, let me save real quick, because it is possible to, oh, I can't even, uh, I can't even use it. Never mind. Forget that. Just gonna back out of that. Okay, so there's something I have to do to make those books usable before I can even get into them. What island am I even on? Is it this one? I can't tell the shape of the island. It looks like I think I might be this L-shaped one here. So if I come back in here and... Oh yeah, it totally is. I think. So then... Yeah, that's the, the map of the islands. So then... Let 
Yeah. And that's... A dome, question mark? I guess it has to be. So that connects up to there. So you can actually find the domes on these. I didn't know that. Like, I'm, I'm guessing that has to be the dome. So it's... Okay, I think I might be getting somewhere with figuring out how this puzzle is supposed to work. So I'm going to mark down that it's on that in that quadrant. And I'm going to do that for each of the each of the other islands cuz I think that is the solution. Maybe it's not the exact No, because it's got to be the, the actual square of the grid. Like, that's why this grid is here as well. So... Where is it? This is still, like, ridiculously insane to try to figure out, but I get it. I get where the game is, like, giving you this information. Okay, there's that dome. So it's on... one of the out-poking ones. And... So it's, is it five by five? I need a flatter, uh... Ah, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it is five by five. And then it was... This one. As oriented this way. It's... One, two, three, four. One... Two, three. It's four, four. Okay. So for this orientation, this square, it's four, four. That's that grid point where that dome is. See, I didn't notice before that it it shows the domes on this uh, on this map here. So that is how you figure out the marble puzzle. And I was just too dumb to figure that out. So I'm going to bring up this one again. And, nope, it's this one here. So it's one, two, three, four. One, four? Yeah. As it is... Oops, oh, I guess I have to... I think it's one, four. So one, and then... One, two, yeah, okay. So on the L block island, it is one, four. I can't believe I'm figuring this out. I mean, I'm still working with prior knowledge of how this puzzle works, but I'm figuring out how you're supposed to solve it, and presumably doing it the right way. So let's bring up Square Island. This one's going to be tough because it's the same orientation no matter which way you flip it. Oh. It's Crater Island. So... Also, the dome on this one is underground. So I don't know how that's supposed to... 
I don't know how that's supposed to work out. Maybe I'm meant to assume that it's in Gen's lab? Where that little bit is there? So I have to make a little bit of a note, because this one is just kind of a big circle. So if I have it going that way, it's in the top left box. And it is 2-2. Two, two. And if that turns out to not be the correct orientation for how the island is on the marble map, I can play around with it, because everything else has a clearly defined orientation. So let's bring up this one. And see... Whoa, this is the Big Dome Island. Okay. Yeah, that's really easy to easy to spot. Wasn't the dome just like on the side of the big dome? I haven't been to this dome yet. Where is it? Um, pretty sure it was just like on the s out, off to the side of the big dome. It should be like somewhere around here. No. Huh. That's troubling that I don't see it unless that's it there it is okay right okay so I want this oriented this way and it's gonna be in that square and that is one five yeah. One. Five. Okay. Whoops. I don't know why I thought I had to skip something there. Uh, and then we just get this last little tiny island. And... Bring it up. There's the dome right there. Now... I don't know which way this dome... This one's supposed to be oriented. Maybe it's the default way? In which case it would be 2, 5. So... Yeah. I guess that's it. The only point of concern is the orientation of the square island because I don't know exactly how that's supposed to be laid out, and the dome for it is underground, so I don't know if it wants me to assume that it's in Gen's lab, or if I'm supposed to assume that it was exactly where I found it, which was slightly to the right of Gen's lab. So actually, I think what I'll do is bring up that one again. Ah, hold on. I think it's... is that supposed to be where the... is the bulge on the thing? No, it's supposed to be like the layout of the island. Okay. I was wondering if it was telling me more precisely where the dome was in that one. So this is the default orientation. So it's going to be the top left box, and it's going to be 2-2 two, two if it's Gen's lab, or 2-3 if it's not. So I'll make a note that it could be two, three, question mark? Okay. I'm fairly confident I just solved the marble puzzle, more or less. Which is a first for me. 
because I could never figure out how you were supposed to do that because I never realized that this map here showed you where the domes are. So I was like, are you supposed to just like mentally draw out a map as you like actually draw out a map as you go and make a note of where the domes are? Because I only read about that you were supposed to do that from a guy that told you how to do it. But it didn't say like how to uh, actually figure out where each dome is on each island. And I thought that was kind of dumb, that the game expected you to just figure that out on your own. But I think I've got it. So this might be a monumentous occasion that I'm completing Riven without being told the solution to the marble puzzle. Uh, is there more to do here? Hold on, does this elevator go down, or is it only... Yeah, there's... Like, why can I look down here? Whoops. I don't want the... Nope. I already read Atrus's journal. Ah, where'd it go? Ah! There. Why can I look down here? There's something down there that I can go to. Oh, wait! Duh! There's a whole other side of this island through that door right there that I have to turn the tram around to go to. Okay. I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah. This is right below that thing. And that thing was there to remind me that this was here. So let's see where this goes. It looks like an elevator of some kind. A water elevator. Ooh, it's pretty. This goes somewhere important. Whoops, I don't want to get back out. Do I have to manually close this one too? No, okay. Frickin' elevators in the series, I swear. Going down? This thing sure doesn't look airtight, watertight. But I guess it is, because it's holding. If I had unlimited resources and owned, like, my own archipelago of islands, I would totally build all this, like, random crap into it just, just because I can. Like, all these elevators that just go down in such elaborate fashion. Like, there's no reason for that. This could have just been a box on a, on a chain that goes down. But Ken's like, nah, make it a gold box. Make it go down through the water. I don't even know where I am. Oh, hello. Maybe they're friendly. Hey! Okay, come on. Where are you... Dude, you're... Okay. Well... That person took my ride. Where even am I? Am I on the other side of the... Oh, I can call that tram back in a minute. Let's see where this goes. Oh. Okay. This looks... What's this button do? It turns me around. That's what it does. And what's this lever do? Uh -huh. Interesting. Ah, it's an observation camera console. I believe that's Catherine. Gen has cameras around wherever he's keeping her, and that's a little creepy, dude.
I mean, this does not really help us, though. We knew she was here, and we don't know where that is. Okay. Oh. Maybe that's the on-off button. And maybe this changes cameras. Oh. oh, it rotates. This is the village. This is where you find the... Where you see the ball that has the number one on it, but... There's... It's not there. So maybe this isn't it. Can I rotate this one at all? No. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fascinating stuff, but I don't need anything that I learned from that, besides the fact that Catherine is here, which I already knew, because that's part of why I'm here in the first place, is to get her out. So, what does this one do? Oh, I think this powers the domes. Maybe? Uh... Oh, wait! Okay, so I think the first one we want is the one with the open eye on it. The open eye with the line. That sounds familiar. There's that whale shark looking thing, I guess. I think that's what it is. And it made that sound. So that's definitely number five in the sequence. Okay. So did I cause that to happen by, hit by hitting the button, or... Did that just happen? Can I have control back, please? There we go. I guess that happened because I hit the button. So it calls them. Okay. That was interesting. So, okay, so... Yes, I've turned that one on. Oh, maybe this isn't the code. I want the one that is fully closed horizontally wise oh wait no this is a these are the colors okay right because each uh, each dome has one of these symbols associated with it and then each marble is a color and that's how you this is how you figure out what color goes where Okay, got it. So, fully open eye is yellow. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to recopy these down. I did some scribbles on stuff that I wanted to get rid of. So, well, actually I can just write it real tiny. Okay, so fully open eye is yellow. This one is orange, so horizontal closed eye is orange. Opened eye with a line is red. It also calls the whale shark there. Just bump the mic a little bit, I hope that wasn't loud. Uh, the closed vertical line has no color, okay. 
open vertical eye is blue and then the dot is green so there's going to be one whose color we don't know and that'll be the one that is I thought it was I thought there was a pink one but maybe maybe that's what it is so we'll just extrapolate from the incomplete data which one that is I'm just going to put a question mark down there for now and yeah this is all vital stuff for solving the marble puzzle that I'd completely forgotten about actually well the, the whale noise is for a different puzzle but we'll get to that eventually I still haven't found I don't know if it's five in the sequence because I'm missing number four still So, but yeah, let's call this tram back and see where where that person went after we spooked them. Oh, dang, I'm... did I start a new episode or not? I don't think I did. Uh, okay, that's... I totally lost track of time. I was so excited about... oh, I mean... This is going to drown me out. I was so excited that I was actually figuring out how the marble puzzle worked that I completely lost track of time. So, uh, next episode, I'm going to see where this tram goes. <laughs>